Morning one twos, um, it's Miss Trembath here. I'm going to be taking you for writing today. I hope you've enjoyed reading with Ms Kinnear and you'll have Miss Stevens for maths later on today. Um, but for writing today, we've got our learning intention and we're looking at openers in our writing. So Openers are a way that we make our writing really interesting from the start and that's so that our readers are excited to read what we've written and they're interested straight away. Um, there's lots of different ways to make an interesting opener but today we're just going to be looking at two different ways. So we've got our learning intention up here. I know what an opener is and I can write examples of different openers. And the way that we might know we've reached this goal is that if at the end of this lesson, we've got six to 10 sentences with great openers, then that shows that we've met our learning intention for today's lesson. So that's what we're working towards. Okay, I've included um, just a little picture that goes through all the different kinds of openers but today we're only looking at two and we're looking at beginning with a question and something called onomatopoeia so I'm going to write those down on the board for you okay so the first one we're looking at is onomatopoeia it's a really long word I've written it up here so it's onomatopoeia and that big long word on a matapia, it just means a word um, that describes a sound and the word sounds similar to the sound it's describing and it's a really great way to begin our writing so it's a kind of opener to open our writing and we say it's beginning with a sound so I'll give you a couple of examples of how you might do this you might start your story by saying Boom, bang, crash. So three different sounds, boom, bang, crash. And I've got an exclamation mark at the end of that sentence to show how exciting it is. And straight away, the reader would be reading that and thinking, wow, what's going on? And they're really interested and they want to read more. But Onomatopoeia, or beginning with a sound, could also be a very, very quiet sound. You might write to begin your story, scritch, scratch, scritch, scratch. And that sentence describes a very very quiet sound and hopefully when your audience read that your readers saw that sentence they'd be really interested to find out what was making that quiet little sound and they would read on so there's two examples of beginning your story with onomatopoeia or beginning with a sound and those are great ways to open a story and make it really interesting all right, we'll have a look at our next example now. So our second example of how to write, write a great opening sentence is where we open with a question. So we, as the writer, ask our audience a question and that grabs their interest and draws them into our story. So my first example of beginning with the question is, I might start my story with this sentence. Have you ever come face to face with an enormous crocodile? And because I'm asking a question, I haven't got a full stop. I've got a question mark at the end there. So that's one example of a way you might use a question to start your story. I'm going to give you another example now. Okay, so our second example of writing a really great opener is where we open with a question um, and my second question that I've written up here is would you believe me if I told you I was 400 years old 
And so that's another example of how we could begin our writing with a question to grab our reader's interest. So for our writing activity today to hopefully reach our goal, I'd like each student to write some examples of great openers. And I'd like a few sentences where we use onomatopoeia or where we begin with a sound and a few sentences where we ask a question to start our stories. So I'll write that up on the board so mums and dads can remember. Okay, so our learning task for today is for kids to write three to five opening sentences that begin with a sound, so what we call onomatopoeia, and three to five sentences or opening sentences that ask a question. And um, this is a great way for kids to practice writing some really good openers. And then in the future, we might choose one of them to turn into a really fantastic descriptive um, piece of writing. So have fun with it. You can be a bit silly, use your imagination. And I look forward to seeing what everybody produces. Have a great day, guys.